Hey, it's Friday evening and I'm gonna meet a friend for dinner in a bit. So, I haven't shaved as you can tell. Check it out, you know. So, uh, I wanna grab a shave. Uh, just got a chill out evening. And I'm gonna try a couple products I got in. I showed it on my mail call. We got Mike's Natural Soap Barbershop. And uh, Barrister and Man Reserve Classic Aftershave. Gonna use the, it's been soaking here, Poisson 24 mil from Razor Rock. Poisson, sorry. Uh, trusty Merker 34 uh, C with, um, it's got a Perma Sharp in there. And I think this will be the third shave on this one. I had two of them out, the other one. I think I misspoke on previous video. I think that was a shave I actually had like four on. Oh, let me get there. Came off the soap, I guess. But anyway, uh, this is the newer one that I thought I'd use. So we're going to go with this. Put them back in the water here. And I'm going to pull a TSE. Um, I'll pause, wet the face, and I'll be right back. And we're back, and yes, this is a different shirt. I realized I didn't want to shave in this first shirt. I think I'm actually going to wear that out because it's just chill out. No, but it's a nice t-shirt, and it fits well, and I didn't want to get it wet and then get it dry and get soap all over it. So, all right. So I've had the puck blooming here. Pour out a little of the bloom waters. It's a pretty firm soap, so I wanted to just loosen it up. Standard bloom option. Uh, this first, I've been wanting to try Mike's, another soap. Uh, I'm down to, if I get any more soaps, I should do an update of Den already, the way I've acquired stuff. If I do any more soaps, if I purchase any more, it will be because I want to try the brand. Uh, next shave will be with uh, Seth, uh, Obsessive Soap uh, Perfectionist OSP Barbershop, which has that cedar note, which I'm um, on the ropes about with the cedar. Mike's smells a lot like uh, Soap Commander Honor and vice versa. So I know I'm already going to like it. It's just a nice Harkens Back Barbershop, not based on a cologne type. I watched a a little dated video from uh, So Sharp David, David Gonzalez, The Truth, and he used this. And I see the you know, TSC use it a lot. So I, it was available at Maggard. So, so I was like, okay, I'll order it. Because they also had OSP. And I wanted to try both. And then they had the Bear Stern Man and some other stuff, so... Would have ordered it through the club, but it was out of stock. <laughs> At least the bear certain man. <laughs> you know, Mike, I don't think Mike has available. And neither is OSP right now. So I had to go through Maggard for this stuff anyway. All right. So let's hope... Uh, as we know, Ken can't lather, so let's see if Ken can't lather can actually lather today. I considered getting the Hungarian lavender, but I went with the lather line from Bear Stern Man for the lavender. Nice, mild, clean, not powdery, not floral. Uh, just a traditional barbershop lather, I guess we'd call it. Wow, a real nice lather. So, watched Kevy Shave's uh, video earlier, and he used a whole bit of a uh, uh, Boots Chemist stuff. So it's like a, a nice basic shave, and it was really great. Uh, posed a question about recommending. Um, to a new wet shaver, what products would you go with? And we were we 
we were pretty much in agreement. A 34C, um, a Razor Rock, a uh, soft brush, and he went with Perazzo Red because that's his favorite Perazzo. I said I would have gone green or white. <laughs> Or even blue, if you want to get them into a cream and not a soap. But it is in the tube, so they'd have to learn the lather using the. I got not quite two days growth I'm, I'm taking down here, so. So, all the political bullshit's going on Facebook, and let me give you an, my opinion. And I don't, I mean this from a good place. I think individually we're all great, you know, pretty much, unless you're a completely sick, evil, you know, person. But when it comes to the liberal philosophies, not the execution, the philosophies, generally they mean well, you know, on equality issues, things of that nature. The problem is how they execute it. They can't explain their policy, they can't articulate it to make anyone want to go along. All they do is yell and scream and tell everyone they're wrong, and um, and you just need to vote this way and then we'll figure it out. Well, no. You want me to vote for you, articulate your policy. How are you going to do it to where you're not also going to take away from a bunch of others who have needs of their own? Or you know, cause harm. You're supposed to do no harm while trying to raise everyone up. So if you can't explain how you're going to do it and then you want to do it by any means necessary, you don't have my vote. While I may agree with the general principle of the philosophy. Conservatives, on the other hand, this is why they're wrong. Because they think conservatives should be this philosophy that, like, no, you, know, you can't have abortion and all that. But the thing is, I look at conservatism a different way. We're so far down the rabbit hole in terms of what's become available and protected and legal in this country, whether by the Constitution or by court precedent, that if you want to be a conservative, that's a personal choice, just like being a liberal is a personal choice. But with being a conservative, it's a personal choice, and you have to pra you have to preach responsibility, not force something back in a hole. So, for example, let's just go to the hot button: abortion, right? It's not in the Constitution, but by legal precedent of Roe versus Wade, it's legal. I'm not talking religious denial, but right now, you have the left saying, oh, you know, women's reproductive rights or whatever, or they keep milking their argument, they thin out their argument, I should say, then they say, um, no, it's women's health care, and okay, you know what, yeah, it's, it is all that because those are impacted, but the thing is, Republicans, on the other hand, need to not... They need to stop picking out these fights. They need to live personally moral if they're going to be uh, conservative in this realm. Be personally moral and not get themselves in trouble where they have to utilize services like that. And you should teach responsibility to people. 
liberal, conservative, progressive, whatever you want to call yourself on the political spectrum. Be personally responsible. You can argue all day whether it's a right that needs to exist or it's abhorrent. But if it's abhorrent to you, it's got to be personally abhorrent, okay? But nobody wants to... Both sides want to force it down your throat. The left can't articulate it, and the right just want to shut it down. The Republican platform needs to change how it, how it attacks stuff, and it needs to articulate better, too. Like, for example, with Romney and Ryan, we want to close the loopholes and reduce the overhead. Okay, that's as I juggle my brush. That's all well and good, but... How? And no politician, no politician articulates what they're going to do. We have this wait and see mentality, just vote me in and then I'll fix it. It's like, no, lay out your plan, let, let people debate it, and then a real plan. Not, oh, I'm going to do this and leave it vague. Your politics are all too friggin' vague. So now I'm stuck here. People are saying, oh, they're running ads about, oh, Trump said this and Trump said that. Well, you know, the friggin' Democrats are they're pandering on that shit. And yet Hillary is as ugly off camera as she puts on this thing on camera. And they're catching Trump and he says it's on camera. But who says behind closed doors he's going to be a better person? He probably is. Otherwise, he wouldn't have all these business deals brokered. So you got two assholes, right? Neither can articulate policy. It's all driven by ego. And people are going, I have friends. Friends that argue the same way. No, they're, they're saying, oh, we got to do this because it means this. It means what? You're making these vague statements. Give me the connective tissue. God, give me a logical argument. I'm more embarrassed by friends I have that are very intelligent in what they do. They work for Microsoft or something else. They're probably, they're doing better than I am, you know, in their salaries. But they cannot articulate an argument. And if you can't do that, I'm going to laugh at you. You got people posting posting stuff that they haven't researched and turns out it's false on both candidates. How do you expect me to feel? Now, here I, I post jokes, mostly Hillary jokes, but I don't like Hillary because what she did, I have a government clearance. I've said this before, but what she did, I'd be fined in jail or I'd lose, I probably couldn't keep my job because I'd lose access to maybe having a government clearance. Oh yeah, but oh no, she, did, she was just careless. Well, fuck, if I did the same thing, send it home or put it on Gmail or something, <laughs> there's no excuse. But no, she gets away with it, and, and all my friends are all happy with that. And I told her flat out, I can't support her because of this thing. And one of my friends, friends was a, his wife, unfriended me on Facebook because I told her flat out I can't support her. Because I shared something on Donald Trump Jr. because it was it shopped, popped up on my page because someone else shared it. And it says exactly what I articulated. And I told her... A chimp like me has to obey these rules, and I'd go to jail, but she gets away with it. I can't support that, whether I agree with the philosophy or not. And I get unfriended by this twat. She was a twat in high school. She acted like a friend, and then you do one, you do one little thing, and she acts all offended. Then she acts, you finally comes around, and acts normal again, and she unfriends me on Facebook. You can unfollow people, but. I feel bad for my best friend because he's coming out like a liberal prick by the stuff he shares and again it doesn't come across like an articulated argument and I feel embarrassed because he's one of the smartest guys I know functionally I swear it makes me embarrassed for him that his wife is like that and I, I put them together
in high school. But you know, she wants to be that way. I can't help it, and he wants to live with that. But you know, that's that's the kind of people you run into. They're not your friends, they're two-faced half the time. Or they have such a shitty sense of humor. I'm gonna do just a full pass again. I'm gonna go fourth one, get some pickups here. I mean, I'm embarrassed for them. I love them, but I'm embarrassed for them. Because I joke and I'm messaging him. And he says, oh, that's not something to really joke about. I say, yes, it is. It is something to joke about because it's embarrassing to this country. And if I don't joke about it, I'm going to friggin' cry and lose my mind. Well, because I'm not, I'm, a, I'm not a Sam comedian, I can't joke about it. Especially when I know from where I speak in this case, people tell me, oh, it's not a big deal about that server, all, all these things are, folks. Uh, that's uh, compared to Trump saying, grab her, grab her in the pussy on a bus. Fuck. We're going to have an asshole either way, folks. But you know what? You can't take a fucking joke this election. Of all times. Maybe you shouldn't be my friend. Because if any other election calls for fucking jokes, this is the one. All right, enough of that shit. I'm gonna rinse the brush, I'm gonna pause, rinse up, we'll come back for the uh, post shave. And we're back and rinsed, hit the album. Great thing about the Merker 34C, minimal feedback when, when I did almost four, basically four passes. Grab my towel here, excuse me. So, Mike Soap, Mike, good job. <laughs> you make a good product. I, I really like the soap. Very, very, very impressed. Now the Bear Stern Man. All right. I still think it's slightly more, I don't know, uh, towards the Aqua Velva than Old Spice. Uh, but it's, it's a nice scent, but it's not going to last long, so I'll pair it with something. I'll probably throw on gondolier or something like that. Uh, it's a nice scent. But I'll let that dry down. All right, so thank you very much for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope you got my point as crudely as I put it, but it, it disheartened me when that happened. And... I shared a video for on my personal Facebook page uh, that involved, it was an ad from Pedigree where they had somebody dress up in a Hillary shirt with, and claim they had this lost dog and then did vice versa, a Trump shirt and everybody went to each other's rallies. And we don't, we're not going to politically disagree, but if you're going to treat people by how they wholly think politically and how they act sometimes when they express their political opinions, then you are not looking at the whole person and maybe you're not worth my time anymore. So think about that as I look more in the camera than I do the screen. Because it's really heartbreaking when people who claim are your friends and then they just drop you off like uh, like they threw a you know cigarette butt out the window because they have no sense of humor nor do they respect your opinion. So they, you can't, why, why? You can play the high ground, try to keep respecting them, but sometimes maybe they show their true colors and they're shallow. 
So I'm going to end it here. Neck, may your neck shave go well. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Uh, I'll probably shave Sunday or Monday. Uh, we'll see. I'm just going to enjoy my time. So have a good night, friends. Bye.